Hey guys, what's up? It's Cards Classified. Welcome back to another Cards Classified video where we provide card game and card trick tutorials. Happy New Year's, guys. Um, 2015, wow. It's been almost a year, I think a over a year that I've been doing this channel. Okay, so today we're going to be doing a little card trick that I created myself. Now, usually I don't do this, but it's not that good. I've been trying to work on it a little while. Um, it's it's pretty easy to do. Um, the the spectator uh, might be amazed a little bit, but you will understand how it how it really works because you guys know a little bit more of cards than your audience would. Okay, so let's get to it now. As always, I do the performance first and the tutorial second. Okay, so let's get on with it. Oh, and I'm also using the B playing card deck. Uh, it's a it's ideal for casinos, but I like using it for um, card tricks. It's a really good playing deck. Uh, if you like to have fluent deck that you can use, uh, B decks would be the ideal way to go. Okay, so I'll shuffle the deck just to make sure that there's no setup, and I'll do an overhand shuffle. Okay. One more, just for good luck. Okay. So, I'll even show you that there's no setup involved. Okay. And what I want you to do is to pick a card. Okay. And that card is the Two of Spades. So now what I want you to do is put that Two of Spades on top of the deck and what I will do is I will um, shuffle the deck okay um, and I'll even show you here that I shuffled it so uh, you know that your card is not on top here I'll show you the top card it's the ten of diamonds that's not your card so now I'll take the top card and put it on the bottom Okay, and we'll do one more shuffle just for good luck. This is an overhand shuffle. Okay, but if I snap my fingers and just wave my hand over the top of the deck, I can magically pull your card to the top. Okay, guys. Want to know how it's done? Stay tuned. Okay, so this is how it's done. This is the tutorial part of the video. So there's no setup involved. You can tell the spectator to um, to shuffle the deck. Okay, and it's fine. It, there's no setup involved. Um, but this does involve a few false cuts, false shuffles. Uh, there's, there'll be a link right there to that video that I made. Um, and, or in the description as well, uh, to the video that I made on how to do multiple false shuffles. So, you ask the spectator to pick a card, any card, it doesn't matter. It's not, we're not using a card for us. And in this case, it's the Eight of Diamonds. So you ask them to put their card on top. So it's on top of the deck. And then you, this is where the false shuffle comes in. Um, you can choose any one of those three false shuffles in that video that I put a link to. Um, but I like this one. It's pretty easy to do, but effective. 
So, like this. It's still on top, right? Okay. And then, when you're showing them the top card, this is when you want to take two cards and get a... I, I don't tend to do a pinky break, but you can. Or you can even do a thumb, a thumb break, I guess, like that. Um, and so those are two cards, and you just flip it over and show them that it's not their card, but really that card is under it. Okay? And then you say, I'm going to take the top card and put it on the bottom. You're really putting their card on the bottom, but don't show them the card that you put on the bottom. Because that'll that'll ruin, ruin the trick. Trick. Um, next, you're gonna need to do a Hindu shuffle. Um, if you don't know what a Hindu shuffle is, you can just look it up. There, I'm sure there's many videos on how to do it. I might have done a video on it, but uh, so what you do is you just do the Hindu shuffle. So it actually bring it's not messing up the bottom card. Okay, and you put that on top. So the the ace of diamonds ends up top ends up on top here. I'll put it on the bottom and do the, do it again, just to show you, and I'll keep it the other way, just to show you how it comes to the top. You just keep pulling packets off the top from this hand. Okay? And so, you can just do a magic wave, say abracadabra, snap your fingers, or whatnot, and then their card is on top. Okay, guys, stay tuned for the trick that I'm about to show you. Okay guys, so here is the uh, trick that I'm going to show you how to do. Of course it doesn't, well, this time it doesn't involve cards. It involves a, well, I'm not going to tell you yet, but here, look. I have a random piece of paper, right? You see that? It's a piece of paper, just crumpled up right into a ball. Now, it's pretty cool because what I can do here right now is I can make it levitate. I bet you guys want to see that, right? Okay, watch. So, I have it like this. If I just put my hand over it like that, I will be able to lift both my hands. And you can see it levitate. Just, just let me adjust a little bit. Okay. If I let go slowly, you can see that it's starting to levitate. Isn't that... Cool. Maybe I can stretch it out just a bit more, but that's probably all I can go. Okay. You guys want to know how to do that? Stay tuned. Here it is. What you will need is a piece of paper just crumpled up into a ball. Make sure that when you crumple that piece of paper, it, it spans more that way than it does this way, right? Because you won't, won't really need it that that way because you want to make sure that it hides the pencil. You want to practice this in a mirror a couple times, but what you'll need is a piece of paper crumpled up into a ball and uh, a pencil. Preferably a pencil. I like to do it with a pencil because it's a little bit stronger and it doesn't make the uh, the paper spin while you're doing it because uh, it's nice and thick, but you can use a chopstick, a pen, uh, but I don't like to use chopsticks, but chopsticks is maybe the way to go if if you practice it a couple times and you make sure that it won't spin. But it's the way to go because it's harder to see, right? Um, but I, t I got a pencil because I find it's the easiest. Um, and what you're going to do is just, yeah, you just stick it in the piece of paper. And... What I like to do is stick it in my sleeve so it covers the back end of the pencil. But when you're showing it, once again, you're going to need to do this in, this in the mirror a couple times to make sure that you don't reveal any part of the pencil. What you need to do 
is uh, don't go like that or like that when you're showing a piece of paper. Just say I have a random piece of paper here, right? Uh, so it's in a ball, right? And how much you want to make a bet? You can even bet them and make them give you money after the after the bet. You can levitate it, okay? So here it is. So what you do is it's pretty. You probably thought this out afterwards. You probably figured it out. Uh, but you put the bottom of your palms so they're sandwiching that pencil in there so they're sandwiching that pencil right and so you grab it maybe get a little wave over it or do whatever you want um, and then you let go and show that you can levitate the pencil isn't that pretty cool guys okay uh, please thanks for watching guys uh, that is the uh, levitating paper, piece of paper trick. Uh, so, thanks guys for watching. Don't please, please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Give it a thumbs up, a like, if you like this video. Um, and when you're commenting, don't don't forget to uh, involve a, little, a bit of suggestions for me to do next time in my next videos because I've been trying to answer your questions and you've been doing pretty well so thank you guys for all your support um, and don't forget to follow us as well on Instagram and Twitter where I give updates weekly on uh, on videos that I'm going to be uploading and when I'm going to be uploading them um, so once again, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll deal you in later. Centipede.